जूर भट अम्बेसडर राजीव टोगरा आपने लास्ट जम्मू कश्मीर में पिक्चर कब देखी थी सर थिएटर में देखी थी कहीं अभी फिर यादें ताज़ा करने जाएंगे वापस well, एक चक्कर मार के आएंगे well, I must have seen it before you were born <laughs> Anand, because <laughs> quite as a possible part of our training in foreign service uh, foreign service we go to districts for training for 3 months and i chose jammu and kashmir starting from chushul and nubra right down to rajouri and punch and i must have seen one or two movies in 75 hmm. uh, so uh, but the question is larger uh, what comes to my mind is a coincidence hmm. uh, before i uh, before i go on to the coincidences let me first compliment uh, lieutenant governor manoj sena his officers because it is not just this initiative of opening the cinema they have taken a series of initiatives and series of bold steps uh, which were considered uh, punctuation marks earlier perhaps even taboo that is why we didn't go in for those decisions in the earlier years uh and we should still keep our fingers crossed because pakistani gundas of isi can still come in mm. uh but let me come to the coincidences iran today uh, has seen women cutting their hair burning mm. their hijab because they are fed up of being caged animals in the regime of iran in afghanistan women are coming out because they say our children need to be educated our girls need education so it is a society which must come out and protest and assert their rights which has not been the case unfortunately in kashmir it is the administration which is taking these steps so if there is a bomb attack or a grenade attack this is not the first time that such a threat would be there delhi itself faced it uh, many years back and there were warnings in theaters all the time that if you see any for an object unattended object please inform the cinema authorities so kashmiri society has to come out for its own welfare mm. because they have missed out on life an entire generation has lost normal life because they collaborated or they stayed silent when they should have stood up against uh, these terrorists or gundas as i term them mm. uh, so they will have to be vigilant they will have to take the initiative and they will now have to step forward and say mm. that not just the cinema halls we want to be the free birds and mm. the free civil society members of the state and the country mm. no i agree but uh, do you believe that things are different this time around that one grenade one incident is not going to shut down everything do you think that people have also now decided enough is enough we're going to reject this altogether there is more ground support well i don't know whether there's more ground support but yes the armed forces and security forces including police mm. have put up a barrier against the infiltration attempts of pakistan right so that has been a great success whether the civil society itself has risen up against terrorists informed the police informed the security forces mm. of those i mean there are still reports that any number of these sleeping agents are still there why aren't they coming out and exposing them mm. and as far as pakistan is concerned i won't say that they have given up they have taken a pause uh, but they have not given up they have not given up uh, right now unka khud ka survival instinct hai ki wahan par uh, they are fighting for survival to wahan par kab shutdown ho jayega lockdown ho jayega unko pata nahi hai so first wahan to sambhale uske baad yahan dekhe but ashok pandit